it is now finally time to open up my box from Dick Blick Art Supplies uh, on DickBlick.com and open up the new pastels that I got yesterday. Some of you may have seen my video in our Facebook group how I wanted to do an unveiling and it was literally right before I had to meet my husband out to dinner and I thought I'm just gonna wait to open the box. It was hard but now I'm opening it and I have to admit I did already open it so it would be easier for the filming so let's take a look at what we have here okay what are they I have had so many different types of pastels over the years and there's a few uh, brands that I have uh, only gotten a sample of or a stick or two one of them is the Giro I used to say Geralt <laughs> but it's French Giro and I do I like those so much um, but this is a brand that I have never even tried a stick of it before. So let's take a look. They did a good job of packing. I like these little uh, air bubble thingies. I'm going to save these. I don't know how long the air lasts, but this might be good to wrap uh, if I ship a painting. Um, I have a nice little way to, to ship artwork. I think I've made a video on that before. But, oh, I shipped my camera. Um, but these might help for something in the future. All right, so can you see this here? Yes, here we go. I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna move this box so you can actually see the set that I got. These are some extra colors. I'll show you what I got. Um, but here they are. They are the Great American Pastels, Great American Artworks. And this set has 78 handmade soft pastels. It's not the Richard McKinley. A lot of you may be familiar with uh, Richard McKinley's work. I love his work. I almost got his set, but this is artist Richard McDaniel, and it's his plein air gallery assortment, and I liked it for the following reasons. Let me take it out, move this box, and I'll tell you why. All right, they also sent it with this nice little uh, brochure of all kinds of different um, pastel, all their colors, and some of the different sets. So this is a nice reference guide for all of your colors. They didn't send like uh, Terry Ludwig does, um, the little sheet where you color in your pastels to know uh, which is which in the set, uh, but you can emulate that yourself. All right, so here we go. Let's open it up. His work is beautiful. You can see some of it here. And I think that's the reason I liked this set because it is very colorful, which is a way I like to work. I'm going to set this up back here. There we go. And um, it has a lot of the colors that I love, some of my favorites, which are, if you've followed my channel much and if you've watched uh, or, or you're in our Facebook group, Monet Cafe Art Group, you know I love, love, love purple. And um, some sets don't have enough purples for me. Um, I already have a whole lot of oranges and yellows and reds because I don't use those as much as greens and purples and, and teals. Um, but this set has not only, a lot of sets will come with the warmer purples, but they don't necessarily come with cooler purples. And this right here, this is like a primrose. So I'm gonna say that's a blue. Well, it is, it's a blue, but it also is a little bit more of a, a primrosey color, okay? So we've got a, a cooler purple here. Um, these are a little warmer, but they're nice neutral purples. And, um, and then we've got just a, look at that incredible variety of purples in there. I just love it. And I also love how they have these arranged, all right? Some sets, you may be familiar with sets if you've ordered them, you're kind of trying to find the rhyme or reason. They're not according to value. They're kind of according to color family, but sometimes there'll be a crazy one stuck in somewhere else. I'm not sure of why. I'd, I'd love to research that and find out why pastel companies order them in a set the way they do. But this Richard McDaniel set, notice how if you squint your eyes, they're, they're in color families, obviously. You can easily see that. But they're also within the color families. They're kind of according to value. If you look down at the bottom here, most of these are the dark darkest value in that color family, okay? Um, but let's just talk about this for a minute. We've got our lightest values up here. We're, we're going similar to the color wheel, okay? We're going from the blues. Okay, let's, let's start here. Notice the reds in the middle, okay? If you add the blues and the reds together, you get the purples here, okay? And notice the reds and the yellows here. If you add red and yellow, you get the oranges, okay? 
And now these greens are here because they're next to the yellows. These are gonna be your warmer greens. They start to get a little cooler down here, but these right here are your warmer greens. So there's just a, a nice arrangement to these pastels and I really like it. I like the names of some of the colors too. Um, one of them was, well, this one's called Periwinkle. This purple I love. I really love this purple. Um, and let's see here, maroon, of course. Vivian, I thought this, these two um, are very beautiful pinks. This one's gonna give you a little punch, like if you're doing some poppies that have pink or cone flowers or something like that. Um, so they got a few punch colors in there. I also wanted to mention they have some really great neutrals in here. We've got some kind of nice neutrals going on in here, um, over in here, and um, let's see some more. Like in here, these are a little neutral in here. They're kind of paler, not as bold in color. But a lot of sets don't give you very many darks. And this has got such a rich assortment of darks. We've got a dark green, dark brown, a plum, which is gonna be, usually a plum is more like a dark purple, but this looks almost like a black to me, but it's dark, dark. I don't usually use black, black, but if you need a dark, dark, there it is. Abergeen, I don't know how to say that. That's kind of a purpley, um, muted dark here. Iris, a real rich purple here, and Bismarck, I don't have my glasses on, so I'm guessing at some of these names. Uh, but anyway, look at that lovely set. Now they're also, they're in squares, okay? So these pastels are not round, they're in squares. And there's advantages to both square and round. Round, you can actually roll them around and make like grasses. Um, squares, you can make really wide um, swatches of color um, for your painting. So there's advantages to all kinds of different pastels. I did want to mention that there's a couple, you know, pastels, there's a very delicate thing to send. You can already see it's a couple that got a few chips on them, but that's only because these are very soft, okay? I'm thinking I'm going to do a painting to demonstrate these. I'm going to use just this set. I'm not going to use any other pastels just to give an example of what this set can do. Um, but I'm thinking they're probably not as soft as Terry Ludwig's and maybe more in the Mount Vision. Uh, I'm kind of hoping they're not super, super soft because I, I would like to have another one that's a little bit more um, in between. And um, I also got this set with some birthday money my mother gave me, a birthday present. She got me a gift card um, to Dick Blick. And so that was the perfect gift for me. <laughs> I'd had my eye on Great American Pastels for a while. And I got this set in particular. Like I said, I loved the colors that it had. I loved the values. I loved that it had neutrals and darks. But I also felt like this is a great set in and of itself to keep as a plein air set to take out on location. And I really got tired of sometimes setting up my box and, and pulling it out of my main color palette. And this way, I'm gonna try and see if these are a good type of pastels to just take on location, just the set alone, maybe throw some others in. Okay, so now you've heard my reasoning why, this is heavy too, <laughs> why I chose this color palette. Now these were, oh, I'll, uh, in the video, I'll try to put up the actual price. I believe they were like $230 or $240 for the set on Dick Blick. Of course, they always have your Retail is 400 and something, but on Dick Blick, it's uh, 200, let's say around 250, you know, by the time you do shipping and all that. If you sign up for Dick Blick, uh, get an account, sometimes you get little uh, credits, like you can get free shipping with so much of an order, so that's good. These are some nice greens. I noticed I didn't have like a, a super vibrant green. These are closer to this family. This one is a little close to this one here, um, right here, but it's, I don't know, I, I, it looks different. It's hard to order online but it's called Neon, this one's called Chlorophyll. Um, this one is a little close to this one, but a little darker too, it's kind of in between these two. Okay, so that's just a little bit more, I like the cooler greens for grasses at the end of a painting, especially if you're doing a field of flowers or anything like that. So I got me a few more cooler greens. I think this one only has one other color in it. Again, sometimes you don't know these things until you just get them. It's hard to accurately portray the color of something. Now this was just a, I wanted another bright, bold, high chroma, uh, teal blue, aqua, teal, whatever you want to call it. This one's called Lagoon. It's close to this one. Get this out of here. But do you notice it's a little bolder? This one's more dull. And I just, sometimes I like those bold colors for punch. So these are a little, uh, warped. And if you saw my other video 
on when we toured the Mount Vision Pastel Company, you get a neat idea of how pastels are made. It's very, very interesting. So what I'm going to try to be doing over these, um, <laughs> when my life settles down a little bit, it's still very crazy. Um, what I'm trying to do though is to order sets from different companies like this, give a uh, critique and do a painting because a lot of you have asked and requested uh, giving some ideas of what are the best pastels to use for a beginner and I thought that might be so neat if I can have some videos talking about the pluses and minuses of different sets and um, actually showing you the set and doing a painting that might be so much better for you guys than just trying to order online and looking at all the colors it's hard it's hard for me to do so i know it's hard for you guys so anyway here are the beautiful great american artwork richard mcdaniel plein air gallery assortment so next will be me doing a painting with these and um hopefully you know, I'll be able to upload this soon because uh, I've got another painting in the process right now. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little box opening product reveal. And I'll be back soon with a piece of artwork. Happy painting.